Hearken to me, honored warriors of the steppe. Our enemies intrude upon this sacred ground. Have you yet the strength to oppose them? Hello and welcome or welcome back if you're returning. My name is Burr and if you are a fan of MMOs, RPGs, JRPGs, obscure video games, art, or music, then you should subscribe because that's what we do here. Also, don't forget to give a like to this video because it not only helps with the algorithm, but it also lets me know that you like this content and that I should make more. One more, one quick announcement before we start. I am on my way to 800 subscribers. We're currently at 49 at the time of this recording. So, uh, once we hit 800, I'm going to be doing a super awesome live art stream for you guys where I draw your characters or, you know, whatever you want <laughs> within the limitations of YouTube. And, uh, yeah, it's just a way for me to say thank you to all of you for your support on my journey. Forgive me, bro, but I cannot in good conscience ignore the callous disregard that woman showed for her kinsmen. We must seek her out at once. With me! It ain't right. How he died matters not. Gessa was a great warrior. He will return to us in time. Not soon enough, Hatun. The Nardom is nearly upon us. Mayhap we should cancel restraint until after. I do not understand. If Gessa is dead, how should he return? Oh man, there's some kind of weird resurrection magic here. Silence! You come to spy on us, knowing naught of our ways. We know you are fearless, and that you are called the Undying Ones. That is true. None are braver than the Dothal, for we do not fear death. With death, a warrior must dance boldly, fearlessly, for thus does his soul burn bright. Then, in death, his soul shines white, exalted. The flesh rots, but the soul endures. And ere the seasons have turned, so he shall return. When he is glimpsed in the eyes of a newborn, he is blessed with the same name, that he may grow into a great warrior once more. You mean to tell me these newborn babes and fallen warriors are one and the same? Madness! Oh, no. I gave you leave to observe, not to insult our beliefs. Have care what you say. Otherwise, do as you will. Such contempt as was in their eyes, I had never known. But for the soul to live on, as they say, is not something I can so easily accept. <laughs> Do they truly believe this, all of them? That in death there can be rebirth? Retribution. In any event, we came here in search of information. We cannot leave without speaking with her people. Don't say anything, go sensu, or just let me do the all the talking, okay? <laughs> I know you. Reunion. The travelers with the mole girl. I marked you after I left the Oridia. Ones from Doma, others I could not place. My name is Coco. Welcome to Dothal Ka. Is it a girl's name or a boy's name? Coco sounds to your ear the name of a woman. Well, of course. That would be because it is. I died a woman and was reborn a man. It is of no moment. The soul is the soul and the flesh the flesh. Perhaps you scoff. Many would. Many look only to the name and the flesh, and let these things dictate their perceptions. 
consider Sadu Kutun three times before she died a man, yet she returns as a woman the fourth. Yet she is no less fierce, and any outsider foolish enough to think so will learn the truth to their peril. Interesting. The cycle of death and rebirth is simply that. Take me, I died in battle with the hut girl. Fiercely did I fight, and so I returned. Alas, we know not of our past lives. I must learn what it means to be Koyar again and again. It is difficult to remember everything but importance. Dead kitty. Dog thing. Impressive, is it not? Twas slain by my boy. We were childhood friends, he and I, before he fell and returned. A master of the bow. It is good to see that he retains his skill. Ah, Burr, you have completed your inquiries. Aye, it is as she said. They believe with every fiber of their being that their bravest warriors will be reborn. As for me, I observed some of their warriors at practice. They are as formidable as the Ornir, perhaps more, and their weapons are their equal as well. Yet, while they do not lack in skill and resources, it is plain to see that their numbers are inferior. This has been an educational experience, to say the least, yet everything we have learned is common knowledge to the people of the steppe. It will not be enough to earn our comrades their freedom. Not less than the Dothar's plan for the non arm will suffice, I fear. Well, I have never been one for skulking about. I will go to Sandu and see what secrets I can prize from her lips. <laughs> the spies return, and they have learned not. Mayhap so, but no longer. Though you hide it well, I know you have devised some manner of cunning stratagem for the Nardam. Out with it, I say. We are what you see, Dolan. We are Dothar. Others rely on tricks and traps, subterfuge, lies. We have need of naught but our own strength. We meet the enemy in battle and kill him. That is why I cared not what you did from the first. There is naught for you to learn. Tell your masters to meet us on the field and make ready to ride with their ancestors. Your confidence is plain, as is your strength. Yet you are not the most prospe prosperous of tribes. The mole you mock are few, but so too are you. Why? Though a glorious death is to be celebrated, it is yet death. While well, he kill many, many are killed in turn. In the wake of our battles, the soil drinks deep of the blood of the fallen, their bodies piled high. Not all are born again, only the bravest. Yet one cannot return unless there is a vessel to inherit the soul. And if warriors die ere they birth children, then that is that. Even the brave warrior who finds a vessel will for many years remain a shadow of his former self. It falls to his elders to endure until he is ready to accept his responsibilities. Ever will we meet our enemies in battle without fear. Such is our way, even when our numbers dwindle. If we die, so be it. But know that we fight to live, not to die. Don't all train and make ready for the day, but they do not rush to meet it, not until we have done our duty. Sadu Katun. Gesser's body has been given to the sands. Then our part is done. Rest, warrior. The Nodam draws near, and you will need your strength. If you intend to fight in the Nodam, you should return to the mole and make ready. But know that when next we meet, you and yours will die. Or you can fight for us and live. Think on it, travelers. We shall. But if you would permit me a final question ere we part, where is this place that Gesser has been laid to rest? Though I knew him not, I was there at his end. I wish to say a few words. Rights for the flesh? I have heard of this. Madness, I say, for his body is of the earth now. He will not hear you. But you may speak to the sands if that is your will. They lie to the west. Make haste, for the Gadan may already have caught his scent. <laughs> My apologies, Burr. This will take but a moment. Duh. 
Left for the vultures. It seems an insult to the man. But the soul lives on, they say. These bodies, no more than empty husks, returning to the earth. Seen through those eyes, I suppose the sight is almost comforting. Pardon me? When first I heard the tales, I could not help but scoff. Another queer tribe, I thought, with still queerer customs. Yet having borne witness to their rights, I cannot deny there is a certain logic to it all. A samurai will die for his lord without hesitation or regret. But this is not because he delights in such sacrifice. It is because he has faith that his death will serve a higher purpose. There is an awakening in that instant. When the heart sings, and the blood burns, and his soul... His soul finds peace. There is comfort in that. We dare not permit ourselves that luxury, my friend, tempting though it may be. Not while our loved ones yet remain in chains. Well then, we must all be on our way, even guesser. Let us return to the Dawn Throne and pray that our tale is enough to satisfy our most radiant taskmaster. <laughs> Meanwhile, deep within the Dawn Throne. Oh dear, what's going on here? <sighs> well, if there is a way out, I can't see it. Shame we didn't learn much before they locked us up. Tis little wonder the Oranir won the last Nardum. These people leave naught to chance. Hien, I've had something on my mind for a while, and now... In Alamigo, where I was born, I found it strange that for all the people who supported the Resistance, there were just as many who didn't. But then we came to this part of the world and met with the Confederacy and... Lots of ordinary domains, and almost every single one of them seemed content to just put up with things, no matter how bad they got. They, they all had their reasons, of course, and, and it's not like I don't understand them, but the thought of it made me so angry. After everything they'd been through, everything the Empire had done to them, how could they not rise up? How could they not fight back? People are pragmatic creatures at heart. They hold on to hope only until they taste true hardship. Then comes fear and regret. Safer not to dream. They conclude at last, 
For even should a day go by without some new disappointment, the next will only bring more of the same. And so they choose the more sensible option. They learn to abide the indignities and injustices, the pain and the shame, to accept them as normal. Such is the lot of most men. One cannot expect to spur them to action at a moment's notice. But if one who has known their pain can convince them to strive for something greater and rekindle the fire in their hearts, then they will remember what they have lost and they will rise. I had someone like that once. I didn't know who I was or who I wanted to be and he risked his life to show me the way. R.I.P. Pepperlipu. Then honor him by doing the same for others with all your might and main. You know, when my homeland fell 25 years past, I was still in my mother's womb. Never have I known a free Doma. But my father did, as did many of my fallen comrades, as do many of my people now. It may be no more than a dream to me, but if I do not chase it, then who will? The way you carry it all, you're just the same. Hmm? As you? Oh, no, not me. Definitely not me. I meant the warrior of light. Out there, somewhere. Doing what needs to be done. Won't have you put me to shame any longer. I'm going to seize the future I want with my own two hands. And a girl, Lise. You are ready to depart, I trust. Good. Then let us away. All that you have seen and heard, your knowledge, I would have it. All right, that's a bit much. No secret stratagems, you say? That is well. I expected as much. The Dothal are not schemers. They live only for war, for the contest of strength and will. They are fierce eye, and to face one is to court death. Meet us on the field and make ready to ride with your ancestors. Such were the words of their cartoon, Sadu. Uh oh. Speak not that devil's name in the presence of the most radiant. You made us tell you of the Dothal, yet you will not hear the name of their leader? After the last Nadam, she gave great offense. The most radiant brother called to him the women of the steppe that he might look into their eyes and see if Nama looked back. But that Gedan, that feral Utgun, she spat curses and called forth flames. She scorched the soil and refused to present herself. Three days and nights had we fought to claim the Dawn Throne, and still she shows Brother Magni such disrespect, such defiance. By rights should she pay with her life. Speak not another, another, speak not another word, Batu, or you will pay with yours. Uh oh. Her words are air, as the Dawan say. However, they are proof of your service to the sun. Go and fetch the others from their cells.
My lord Lys, are you are you are unharmed. Thanks to you and Burr. We are free to return to Mo Ilo. They take it. Ooh, this music. By your deeds have you proven yourselves to be warriors brave and true. You may return to the wall and make ready for the Nadam on one condition. To fight in the Nadam is to be bound by it. Swear here and now to abide by the law of the step. To accept the supreme authority of the Kagan, whomever whomsoever it may be. We swear. <laughs> Well done, my friends. I knew you would not fail. I should be glad to hear of your experiences with the Dothar, but as time is of the essence, let us converse en route. Come, come. Serena and the others are waiting. Thank the gods you are alright. When you failed to return, I feared the worst. But here you are, hell and whole, and you survived bottoms and metal. Blessed are we to have you as allies. With your strength, we may have a chance. My friends, we are come to the final day of the Sagan Sar, to the Dadan. The battle will commence with the rising of the sun. The growl will scatter the soil, and the steppe will be unbound. A great Uru will erupt from the earth and call for a new Kagan. All will converge upon the light, and the warrior who claims it will win the day. Precious little time remains. Pray use it to prepare for the battle. Many of the young ones have never taken part in a Dadan. They are the nervous. For they are nervous. Perhaps you might favor them with some few words. It would do much to ease their fears. Already I sense a change in the people. Their hearts soothed. Their resolve strengthened. This we owe to you. We are of the soil, the wind and the water. We are not conquerors. But we are yet the children of Nama. We are yet Zayla. We were made for battle, to kill and be killed. We delight not in such things, but let no man doubt that they are in our nature. Flesh, blood, bone, that which was given we offer unto the gods as tribute. This day we embrace death, ours and our enemies. So too must you embrace this truth, for this is who we are, who you are become as warriors of the steppe. May the gods guide you to victory. All that remains is to wait for daybreak. I see you, soil bearers. I really like their outfits. They're really cool. The soil has been scattered, and the step reborn! Sanctified and unbound, she calls for a new Han! Go forth and claim her, Dothal, and bring death to all who bar your way! It begins, Grandmother. I must say, it's been a while. Is everyone ready? <laughs> a samurai is always ready! You shall remember this soon enough once I have taken to the field! So we take on all comers and then it's off to Doma. 
I can't wait. Thank you, my friends. Upon the soil of one and all shall our deeds be inscribed. If so bad at these Grant things. us favor, <laughs> O Mother of the Dusk, and to victory guide them all. So race. I can race. Ah. Do we have attacks? Oh, I guess we just have to get down. How do I just mount? Oh. Well, sorry, y'all. <gasps> How do I get off this stupid bird? Like, oh, well, I can't help you guys. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit on my bird! <laughs> oh my gosh. The pet hot bar, there it is. Oh my gosh. Alright, I'm never getting on my bird ever again. <laughs> that was freaking rude. He came, as I knew you would. For you two who are a warrior of the steppe. I salute you, traveler, and should be honored to face you alone, but the Dothar will thirst for blood, and you will, and will suffer no duels. Bear witness, Father Aziz, the soil shall drink deep of blood this day. Oh, dang. This guy. This guy is so full of himself. What's up, you get past us? Come on, guys, keep it together. We got this, we got this. Oh my gosh, we did it! <laughs> The step has spoken. Then the Han is. We have won. The Maul have won. The Dawn Throne is ours. We <laughs> did it. And you, my friend, you, you were magnificent. Magnificent and uh, not a little terrifying. What a strange tale this has become. To think I suffered than to live. On your guard, Utun. The wind warns of men in iron. Oh, of course. Oh my gosh, it's this guy. Oh! <laughs> no! <laughs> I thought I'd find you here, Aeosian! Dearest of all my enemies! Today's the day I finally get to kill you! And then they'll give me a shiny medal and my choice of posting! Bloody perfect it is! Well, go on then! Kill her! Kill them all! Dearest of all his enemies, eh? Congratulations. I feel honored. <laughs> Hearken to me, honored warriors of the steppe. Our enemies intrude upon this sacred ground. Have you yet the strength to oppose them? You forget to whom you speak, Doman. 
We are the Undying Ones. We are Dothal! If this be the will of the Mole and their Han, so be it. The sun shall abide by the lore of the steppe. Warriors of the Step with me. Snap. It's kind of cool. It's a cool little shot. Impossible! She was there for the taking! What do I have to do? Be better. I need more men, more weapons, more power! As if we'd lose to the likes of him. And we're only gonna get stronger. Stronger and stronger, until we're strong enough to take back everything they stole. I have kept my promise, Serena. They are yours to command. Uh, yes, of course. Brothers and sisters of the steppe, the Nardom is ended, and we Mole now claim the Dawn Throne. No demands shall we make of you, save these. Heed our comrades' words, and honor the law of the steppe. Before I fought for the Mole, I fought for my homeland, for Doma. To Doma, would you have us go to fight your war and win your freedom? Very well. The battlefield matters not, nor else the enemy. In battle do our souls burn bright. And better the Mole's law than that of the Sun. Arrogant and foolhardy were their pronouncements. Already you and yours show better sense. Oh! Oh no, she didn't! The Sun shall answer your call, Doman. Wild as the wind the Atun and her brood may be, but they will deliver you naught. We will deliver you your kingdom. <laughs> Weak and few as we are, the Mole will fight for Doma too, if you will have us. Well then, I believe not remains but to return to Doma at the head of a Zela army, my lord. I cannot wait to see the look on you Giddy's face. Nor I. We shall depart as soon as our forces are assembled and rejoin our comrades. And then... My friends, we shall bring freedom to the people of Doma! Your Imperial friend has a truly impeccable timing. Had he even come a few moments earlier, he might actually have stood a chance. In any event, that is two battles won in a single day, which by my reckoning gives us twice the cause to celebrate. But first, I pray you grant me a moment to express my gratitude. Thanks to you, we are one step closer to freeing my homeland from the tyranny of the Empire. I am in your debt. Of course, if all goes to plan, this is like to be but the first of many such debts. Yet I promise to endure my insolvency with a smile, out of gratitude to the Kami for seeing fit to send you hither. 
now so i just wanted to say thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me if you liked this video please like this video because that'll help gather more folks to the video with the channel we are aiming for 1k so we're almost there also if you are new and you haven't yet please subscribe uh, we have a Discord link that is very, very fun. That link will be in the description underneath this video. And I also have all my other social media links and stuff that will be under there as well. And also, I do have a Patreon if you're interested. That link is below, and that does help <laughs> get us uh, to support the channel so I can be here and do more stuff with you guys. All right, from uh, all of us to all of you, <laughs> bye.